Hey developer and welcome once again to another Cold World video. When I was just a kid, I fell in love with Minecraft because it was one of the games that used to run smooth on my old low spec computer. The dynamic of the game was incredible and all the stuff you could achieve was just amazing. Till the date, the game still releases constantly updates, new items and other things. One of those amazing features was the possibility to play with friends in public servers that pitifully aren't available anymore. While trying to play the game with some friends again in these days, I discovered how easy it was to host my own Minecraft server in my own Ubuntu server to play with them, so I'll explain you today how to easily set up your own self-hosted Minecraft server in Ubuntu 18.04. As first step, you'll need to update your APT repository and install the tools that we will use to build what you need for Minecraft. These tools are Git and Build Essentials, a package that includes a C and C++ compiler. After installing them, you can proceed with the next step. As you obviously know, Minecraft was developed in Java. In order to run the Minecraft server code in your Ubuntu server, you will need to have Java installed, specifically Java 8 or later. You can easily install it with the typed command on the screen. You should have an exclusive user in your Ubuntu server to set up the Minecraft server. For security reasons, so the server won't run with root privileges. The user shouldn't have a password neither because it shouldn't be able to access your server via SSH. After registering the new Minecraft user, you can switch from user with sudo su and the username. With this user, you should now create the tools and server directories in the root directory of the Minecraft user. Now, you will need to clone the MCR account source code in your server and compile it by yourself. MCRCon is a console-based Minecraft Aircon client for remote administration and server maintenance scripts. Proceed to clone the source code of the project using git in the tools directory. After cloning the project, switch to its directory and compile it using gcc, with the command shown on the screen. After compiling, you will be able to test if it works providing the H argument to the binary file. After installing the control panel for the server, you will need to download the server jar file of Minecraft. In this tutorial, we will use the official vanilla server from the Minecraft website of Mojang. We will use, in this case, the version 1.15.2, however you can install the version that you want. We will download the file in the server to wget into the server directory. You can read the article for more information about this step. Once downloaded, run the server with Java for first time with the command shown on the screen. This will run the server for first time and it will create some basic files. However, it will stop because of the unaccepted EULA agreement. Modify the EULA file and set its value to true using nano. After that, modify the server.properties file as well, modifying the following four properties. The aircon port. 
the aircon password that you should define manually in the file to use later and enable aircon. The online mode option defines whether you will allow users with the cracked version of Minecraft to play in your server. This will disable the Mojang authentication system. In this case, we will use a cracked version of the game to test later, so we will set this property to true. Now, the recommended way to start a Minecraft server is through a service, so you can easily stop, start and restart the service with the ease of a single command. We will do this in Ubuntu through a system unit file. Switch to the root user typing exit to quit from the Minecraft user. Create the file with the command shown on the screen and set as content what we have as well. You can obtain the code from the official article in the description of the video. What we are basically doing is to create the service to run the server.jar file with the necessary arguments to run the Minecraft server. When the service stops, the Minecraft server will do it as well. Be sure to replace the password for the MCRCon with the one you set in the previous step. Save the changes and reload the systemd manager configuration with daemon reload. The people shall be able to connect to your Minecraft server using the port 25565 so you shall check that the port is open, just in case that your server is protected with a firewall, so be sure to open the port with UFW. According to the way that you manage your server, this may change, for example in Amazon Web Services. Start the service of Minecraft. You can easily check if it's running with the status command. In case that you don't know the IP of your server, you can easily get it with ifconfig. The idea will be to simply connect to the IP of your server using the port that we designated for Minecraft. Start the game and go to the multiplayer mode. Press on direct connect and type the IP of your server, add a double point and the port. For the first time, it will take a while to connect because the server will try to generate the world for first time, so you will probably get a timeout. After trying once again, you should be able now to connect to your server in the game.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.